Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen the inheritance concept in that we have covered the single inheritance as well as the multi-level inheritance. So in today's session we will go with the one more inheritance concept that is multiple inheritance. Right. So coming to the single inheritance, there will be one derived class and one uh, base class. So from the base class, uh, the, de uh, the derived class will acquire the properties. And coming to the multi-level inheritance, there will be two different classes. So th sorry, three different classes. One is grandparent, parent and child. So parent will acquire the properties from grandparent and child will acquire the properties from parent. Now coming to this multiple inheritance, the name itself indicates so inheriting the properties from multiple classes so that means one derived class and multiple base classes multiple base classes that means so one derived class that means one class is acquiring the properties from multiple base classes right so best example for this one this is the best example for this multiple inheritance so child class is acquiring the properties from two different classes so base two different base classes only one derived class so child is acquiring the properties of both mother class and father class so by creating an object for this child class it can access the constructors variables methods of child as well as father as well as mother so the object of derived class can acquire the properties of base classes. So here we are having two different base classes. So that means the child object will acquire the properties. That means it can access the con constructors, variables, methods from child class, father class, as well as mother class. But a father class object can't access the methods, variables, constructors from the child class or any mother class. And similarly, mother class object can't access the variables, constructors, methods of a child class or father class right so if you want to access this mother class variables con constructors you have to create an object for mother class so that will through the mother class object we can access the variables and met methods of only that mother class and if you if you want to access the variables methods constructor of father class you have to create an object for the father class and through that father class itself we can access the variables constructors and methods so if you create an object for child class, then we can access everything from both the child, mother class and father class. So how to implement this? How to represent in programming? So in inheritance is implemented with the help of colon. So class mother. So we can write the methods here, variables here. And similarly, we can write father class. And again, we can write the methods and everything here. So we should not inherit here because father is a base class, mother is a base class, two different classes. Now we are creating a child class, class child, 
which is inherited so column representing a column because change is inherent inherited from two different classes so we have to represent the access specifier public mother and use the comma operator for implementing the inheritance from multiple classes so public mother comma also it should be inherited from father so again you have to write the access specifier and write on the class public mother public father and open write down the methods and variables and rows so you can access all these things with the help of chain object right so this is very important use the comma operator in order to inherit from multiple base classes as well as use the access specifier before the class base class so if you are not specifying here public mother comma if you are writing here public mother comma father automatically it will treat it as pub, mother class scope is public and father class scope will be private so default access specifier is private so we have to specify this access specifier for every class while inheritance right so child cl class child inherited from public mother public father so this is how we can implement this multiple inheritance right so hope you understood this multiple inheritance and if you are having any doubts regarding this one don't worry we'll implement this uh, logic in the compiler so i will show you the demonstration of working of these multiple inheritance we'll write two different classes and we'll uh, derive one class from these two classes and we can access the we can we'll create an object for the child derived class and we'll access the methods from both the parent uh, i mean father and mother classes so i will demonstrate this by uh, executing a program so if you are having any doubts so your doubts will be clarified once you go through this uh, execution right so we'll move on to the compiler hello friends so just now we have seen the working of the multiple inheritance so we'll see the implementation of that multiple inheritance just i will demonstrate with a small example so let us include the header files that i go stream dot h for input and output statements and then we'll go with the conu dot h for implementing the clear screen function so we'll create one class class father we'll create uh, the scope we have to use the scope public void f display right so here we can print sorry father class right now again we can close the class and we can create one more class mother and again give the scope public void m display and again we will write a simple function so i am not writing any other logics just i am writing the a small display functions mother class right and we can close this so two are different classes so father class and a mother class two different classes now we'll create the child class which is inherited from mother and a father so till now we have seen the inheritance with a only one class but here in this uh, sec section so we are uh, inheriting the child class is inheriting from two base classes that means one derived class and two base classes so child class acquires the properties from both mother and father so again here also we have to use the scope public space father and use the comma operator again we can write public mother right so multiple i mean uh, one class can acquire the properties from the multiple classes so that must be implemented with the help of comma so while using the inheritance operator 
we have to use we have to differentiate those base classes separated with the comma and this uh, access specifier must be compulsory for every class so if you are not using this access specifier if you write this one public father comma mother so father class will be in a public scope and mother class will be in a private scope so default uh, access specifier is private so we are not specifying for a mother class so it will be a, as a private so that's why we have to use the scope for every class and now we can create one more function public void child display and write down the cout function child class right so okay sorry so i am closing the class so we have created two normal classes one a derived class right now we have to write the main function we have to call everything in the main function so 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 here the same thing child is inherited from father and mother so if you create an object for a child through the child object we can access the variables of derived class as well as base class so here we are having a two base classes so using the child object we can access the variable methods and variables of child class as well as the mother class as well as the father class see child c1 sorry c1 so c1 dot f f display c1 dot m display c1 dot c display yes so we'll save this file multiple dot cpp so compile this one and run this one so that we can get father class mother class and a child class so here we are creating only one object that is that is also for child class and a child class is an derived class for both the father and mother classes so child object can access the methods and variables of both father and mother right so if you want to access only the m display we have to go with we have to create the class for mother and we have to access see we have to access this mother m dot m display see yes so if you execute this one we can get only mother class and through the mother object we can't access the child or father so let us check for the child see even though the child is inherited from the mother class so we mother class object can't access the method of child class so c display is not mem member of mother similarly father class also right so this is how we can implement this multiple inheritance so one derived class acquiring the properties from multiple base classes right so hope you understood this one let us stop here in the next session we'll go with another another object oriented concept that is uh, operate uh, i mean uh, overloading or uh, polymorphism so in that polymorphism we'll see what is meant by a polymorphism and how to implement that polymorphism right so finally the inheritance concept inheritance means acquiring the properties of one class to another so acquiring the properties means accessing the variables and methods right so derived class if you are uh, the derived if you create an object for derived class that object through that object we can access the variables and methods of both the derived class and as well as a base class right so we have completed the three concepts in inheritance that is a single inheritance multi level inheritance and a multiple inheritance right so let us stop here if you are having any doubts regarding this inheritance concept 
feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and if you are if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much